Well, my name is Marnie, and I am the manager of the Animal Assisted Therapy Program here at the Humane Society. This is Slater, who obviously is very, very friendly and can't seem to get enough of wanting to be near all you guys. So I'm going to let him just come on over here and kind of give you guys a little sniff. Um, Slater is an American Staffordshire Terrier. Everybody here ever heard of an American Staffordshire Terrier? Yeah. 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 And I heard you guys listen to the radio this morning with Jamie Burley on the interview about the Pitbull Band. Is definitely yeah, it is. So this is Slater, and Slater is the dog of Jamie and Mark Burley. Anybody watch the Miami Marlins? Big Marlins fans in here? Yay, all right. So this is their dog, and Slater is, he's training to be a therapy dog. So right now we're working with him on his obedience skills. You see that he's very friendly. So we're working to get him to want to, um, or actually we're working to get him to be nice and calm around people, which see how he's sitting now for petting. Very cute. Mind somebody snapping away? And we're working with him to, um, you see his temperament is the most important thing. When you're looking for a therapy dog, you wanna have a dog that has a good temperament. Because if the dog doesn't have a good temperament, they're not going to make a good candidate to be a therapy dog. So do you think he has a good temperament? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. What, what are some of the things that you guys, let me see if I could bring him over to the other side. A dog. Right? He's really good with kids. He loves the affection. He loves the attention. Hi, buddy. Can you sit? Good boy. Good sit. That's a very good sit. Thank you. Good job. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Good job. Yes. Good job. But on the therapy side, he's just still a little bit too distracted. So could you imagine us walking through a hospital with him right now? No. Right, because he's a little bit too distracted. But you could see him doing a summer camp presentation, right? Because everybody's just dying to get out of their chairs and roll on the floor. I can see it already. It's everybody <laughs> inching closer to the edge of their chairs. So he likes to get a lot of attention. So the other thing that we do when we're looking for um, a good therapy dog, and I'll just have to borrow him, unfortunately. He'll have to... Oh. I know, I know. Just for a brief second. Just gonna take him from you for a second. All right, Slater, let's go. Put and Marnie, can you, ex can you explain all that equipment you have on? I, I can. <laughs> He's protesting. Come on, Slater. <laughs> Good boy. I like Good boy. boy. Okay, if you can't see, you can go ahead and move so that you can see. Um, basically, what Slater is wearing, I'll, I'll start with that, I was, and then I'll move on to the temperament part. What Slater has on here is called a freedom harness. And instead of wearing a choke chain or a prong collar or a pinch collar, which we do not deem to be humane um, types of collars, he's wearing a harness that will help him learn to walk properly on a leash. So it's just a training aid so that he's not pulling, he's not jumping, he's walking very nicely when he's on his leash. So it has actually two buckles. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it has actually two buckles so that you can let it go loose and long if you want, or you can just go ahead and attach it to the front. And it's just really just a training aid um, so that he doesn't, he's not pulling. Okay? Does, does any of your dogs wear harnesses? Anybody have a dog that wears a harness? Yeah? I don't have a dog, so. But the people that have dogs, do they wear harnesses? Yeah. Yes? Okay, good. Come here, Slater. So when we're looking for a therapy dog, and I'll just bring him around if I can. Come on, Slater. Oh, it's a good boy. Good boy. When we're looking for a therapy dog, and we're looking for a dog who has a good temperament, you see he's all doused out in his Marlins uniform today. He came to work wearing his Marlins gear. We look to see if the dog has a good temperament. So some of the things that we're going to do to see if a dog has the right temperament we're going to actually look at the dog's face and we're going to look up in his teeth. So we're going to open his mouth and we're going to look at his teeth. Okay? Most dogs don't really like you to be messing with their mouth. And if you don't know what you're doing, you shouldn't be putting your fingers in a dog's mouth. But obviously I know what I'm doing. So a therapy dog should let you be able to do this and look inside their mouth. Okay? You also want to... Later! Go, go. Yes. Okay, you're going to take the treat. And you're going to ask him to SIT. Oh. But say it. Sit. Well, okay. Sit. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what happened. Later. I'll just make a mic. Sit. Okay, good. And then give him the treat. Good. Excellent. Good job. You're a good boy. All right. And let's see if we can get somebody that wants to do down. Who wants to do down? 
Nobody on this side wants I'll to do anything. Down. I'll follow you. I have to like, I'm gonna have to edit all the words out of this <laughs> this video. I'll, I'll nobody wants to do that. Oh all right, Carolyn, pick, pick somebody, Carolyn. Just pick somebody. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now he already knows down, so if you say it, he should just do it. Down. Say his name. Slater. Down. Slater. Slater. Down. <laughs> Slater. Down. One touch. And I give him straight. Good. Boy. Good job. Good commanding voice. All right. One more time. Who wants to do six? Yeah. Yes. Please. <laughs> Nicole? All right. So we're going to just walk. And once we get him up, you're going to ask him to SIT. Ready? Slater. Slater, sit. Good job. <laughs> Excellent. Good job. Okay. Who's going to do down? Okay. Come on. <laughs> You just ask, because he already knows it. Say his name and say down. Slater, down. Good job. Excellent. You guys did great. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Wait, let me come out here. How about you go that way? Okay, I'll go over here. Because you're filming a scene. <laughs> Slater. Sit. Thank you. Good boy. Hi. Hi. May I catch your dog? Yes, you may. Good. It's good to get down on their level like that. Because that's going to make them feel more comfortable. Yeah. Just like you guys learned yesterday. Because they were over Good job. Them. Good boy. Yeah, like putting them in a submit. He's already submissive. So if you tower over him, he's going to yeah. like probably fall on his Good job. Who, who wants to be next? Let's see. Maybe we'll go this way so we can make sure we get it on video. Okay, Katie. <laughs> Sit. Slater. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Yes, you may. Good job. Very nice. Now, remember, before you give him a treat, before you give him a treat, I want you to do what? Sit. Yes. Yeah. Should we break the treats in the No, anybody else? Then is anybody that wants to give him a treat? Does anybody else? Good. Okay. So just, what? Does no, he doesn't does know does paw. Does Actually, that's a good question. The reason why he doesn't know how to paw or give his or shake is because he's training to be a therapy dog. And therapy dogs have to keep their paws on the floor. So that's actually a very good question. But yes, he does not know that. We did not teach him that. You guys missed. That's a little break. <laughs> Hold on. Time out. We got to scratch ourselves. Okay.